QPOP is a customer-facing point-of-purchase interface that you can use to interact with your customers at the point of sale. QPOP facilitates several interactions with the customer, such as presenting electronic forms and waivers, and capturing an electronic signature from the customer, displaying the ticket summary to the customer while you build the ticket in the point of sale, displaying in-store advertisements and promotions, and more. QPOP leverages standard web technologies, so no expensive proprietary hardware is required. Simply select your favorite Wi-Fi capable touchscreen device, pair it up with RepairQ, and go. Let's take a brief look at each of the interactions available with this beta launch of QPOP. QPOP is designed to interact with a RepairQ point of sale terminal. And while the point of sale terminal is not being used, QPOP will cycle through ads and promos you have uploaded so that you can make the most of the customer facing screen while it isn't engaged. So that I can demonstrate all the interactions between RepairQ and QPOP in one video, I have RepairQ running in one browser window and QPOP running in a separate browser window. I'll try to drag and overlap as much as I can to make it look good. So here on one side of my screen I have RepairQ and on the other side I have QPOP. In most cases there will be two separate devices like a computer and a tablet. Right now I'm not doing anything in RepairQ that needs to interact with QPOP so I see some ads or promotions running. I can change the ads running in one of my QPOP companions at any time. So over here in my repair key screen, I'll navigate to my QPOP companion settings. Go to all settings, QPOP companions, and then edit the one we wish to work on. Add a new image by either dragging and dropping to this file here, or click to select your file, save your changes, and watch on QPOP as the ad rotator updates with the new image. Now let's take a look at the ticket summary. I'm going to pick a random repair ticket and click to edit it. When my ticket loads in edit mode, QPOP will display a ticket summary to the customer. The ticket summary lists the items sold and the ticket totals. I can also interact with some of the elements on the screen, like the payments and adjustment subtotal, if I want to see more details. Now let's sell another item on the ticket. As soon as I add my item, the QPOP ticket summary updates in real time to show the updated ticket. Now let's add a discount. Again, as soon as I apply the discount, QPOP updates to show the new tax, discount, and balance shown to the customer. As a general rule of thumb, anything that affects the ticket totals will be tracked in QPOP in real time so that your customers can follow along with the process. Awesome! Next, we will take a look at how ticket custom forms work with QPOP. I'm going to find my work authorization waiver in the custom form section. Notice there is a new button labeled QPOP. When I click this button, it sends the form to QPOP. After clicking the Send to QPOP button, you will see a window pop up in RepairQ that shows you what to do next. At the same time, QPOP will display the form. Over in my QPOP window, I'm going to act like I'm a customer. I will read through the form, then sign below, and submit. After submitting the form in QPOP, QPOP will return to the ticket summary screen, and RepairQ will show a success message and tell me what to do next. The last QPOP interaction we will cover is integrated payment signatures using QPOP. Now you have the choice of whether you want to capture a signature from the customer on the payment device or on QPOP. Here I have my payment device edit screen open, and I'm going to change the signature stores from payment device to QPOP companion, and save my changes. Next I'm going to process a payment on an open ticket. Here I have a ticket that I'm ready to correct a pay credit card payment for. I'm going to edit the ticket. It shows me everything on the right side on QPOP. I'm going to scroll down to the payment options. Click request payment. Now my payment device is telling me to swipe or insert the card, so I'm going to do that. After I get a successful authorization, the repair queue screen will tell me that the card holder needs to sign on QPOP for the payment amount. And on my QPOP screen, you'll notice it's now prompting me for a signature. So I will sign. Click Done Signing. The QPOP will return to the ticket summary screen, and Repair Key will tell me that everything was successful with the payment process.
Qpop opens up a whole new world of possibilities for you to engage with your customers in your store. We are launching Qpop with the interactions we demonstrated in this video, but it doesn't end there. As we collaborate with you to develop new ways to engage customers, we will create new interactions to provide you with the means to take your customer experience to the next level.